A Missing Millionaire Police got a call from the house of a wealthy man who hadn't come back after going for a jog. When several officers arrived, they questioned the maid, the millionaire's wife, and his driver. The maid said, When Mr. Jones went for a jog, he asked me to prepare his breakfast. I immediately got down to work, but it's been three hours and he hasn't returned yet. The wife was worried too. I saw him in the morning, but he was in a hurry. We just greeted each other and I went to work. The driver told the police he had been waiting for his boss in the car, smoking and checking his social media. Who knows something about the millionaire's disappearance? The maid's lying. If she had cut the apples for breakfast three hours ago, they would have turned brown by now. A New Year Party Emma was giving a New Year party. Everyone was having the time of their lives. But then, someone snuck into the kitchen and added something to all the drinks. Emma and all her guests got food poisoning. Only three guys were okay. They hadn't been drinking anything, and it looked suspicious. The first said he was into sports and had to stay fresh for his morning run. The second guy blushed but admitted that he liked Emma. He had been waiting for an opportunity to talk to her for the entire evening. And the third guy complained he had been having a stomach ache since the beginning of the party. He didn't want to make it worse by drinking anything. Who poisoned the drinks? It was the second guy. He has shoe covers on. He was wearing them not to leave footprints on the kitchen floor. Wolf Paradox Three wolves were walking in the snow in a line. One of them says, there are no wolves in front of me. Another says, there's one wolf in front of me and one behind. The third wolf says, there are two wolves in front of me and one behind. In which case is it possible? It's possible only if the third wolf's lying. King's Decision Once, a king asked his advisors, What should I do to a person who will dare to touch my beard? I need to punish this crime somehow. The first advisor said, Put them in prison for three years. The second advisor answered, Oh, make them leave the country and tell them to never come back. The third advisor provided an unexpected reply. They should be given sweets. The king thought for a while and agreed with the third advisor. Why? The only one daring enough to touch someone's beard, especially if it belongs to a king, will be a child. Who went out? In the middle of the night, Dennis was woken up by a loud crash. One of the kids must have been out. Ugh! But they know they aren't allowed to leave after curfew! The man went to check on the children. All three of them, Catherine, Ruth, and Larry, seemed to be sleeping peacefully. Look at the kids and try to figure out who sneaked out of the house. It was Ruth. There's a dirty sneaker hidden behind the curtain and several pieces of french fries under her bed. Underwater fire a sailor got a letter from his girlfriend. In this message, she told him she'd cheated on him. The man was so furious, he managed to burn the letter under the water. After doing it, he got arrested. How is it all possible? The man was a sailor on a submarine. Which mom's rich? Look at these beautiful young moms. They both look stylish, but only one of them is loaded. Which one? The second mom's rich. Look attentively at the first woman's baby carriage. There's a sail tag on it. Puppy mystery. Emily had a puppy she loved to the moon and back. But those around her couldn't stand the adorable pooch. Emily's husband hated how much time his wife spent with the dog. Her friend Deborah didn't like that every time she visited Emily, she had fur on her clothes. 
And the family May just wasn't a fan of animals. One day, Emily came home and didn't find her puppy. The woman was furious. Her husband told her he had just come back from work and knew nothing about the dog. Her friend got offended. I left my scarf here last evening. I've come to pick it up. The maid claimed she hadn't even come close to the pup because of her allergy. Who knows where the pooch is? There's pet hair all over the floor. Why doesn't the maid have an allergy to it? She's lying. The strict professor. A student put his final exam paper into the pile of the other student's papers. The professor told him, I saw you were cheating at the exam. You'll get an automatic fail. Then the student asked him, Do you know who I am? The professor answered, I neither know nor care who you are. You have to be punished for your dishonesty. The student walked away. When the exam scores were announced, he discovered he'd gotten an A. How come? The professor indeed didn't know who the student was. That's why he graded his paper just like anyone else's. Impossible. You are alone in a room. But there's also a thief in the same room. How is it possible? Sorry to break it to you, but you're the thief. A mysterious door. A man walked into a room and saw three doors. The first one had a sign which read, To the Swamps. On the second door, there was a note, Lion's Den. The third door didn't have any sign, but the man knew for sure where it led. How? It was the door he had entered through. Truth or not? Eric, a police detective, was having lunch in a cafe. At some moment, he went to the bathroom and left his smartphone on the table. When he came back, the phone was gone. The detective saw a man leaving the place and ran after him. Eric stopped him when the man was about to sit in a car. The detective told the man to give him his gadget back. But the man seemed confused. I know nothing about your phone. I just gave my friends a lift to work. And he pointed at two men entering an office building. After hearing this, Eric immediately called the police. Why? The man lied. His car was a sports convertible with just two seats. The car wouldn't have fit three men. Theft on a train. Brenda was traveling by train. It was scorching hot in the carriage. The girl took off her gold bracelet decorated with diamonds and put it on the table in front of her. Several minutes later, the train entered a tunnel and it got pitch dark. When the tunnel was left behind, there was no bracelet on the table. Boy, I'm surprised. Brenda was shocked. Someone's taken my bracelet. There were just three other people in the compartment. Helen said she'd been sleeping. Rachel was reading a book on her phone, and Gregory had gone to the bathroom even before the train entered the tunnel. Who took the bracelet? It was Helen. At first, she had her sleeves rolled up, but now they covered her arms down to the wrists, hiding the bracelet. The chef's out. The owner of the restaurant, Vegan Paradise, called the police. He was in a panic. Someone has attacked our chef! He was taken to a hospital several minutes ago. Our rivals must have sent someone to ruin my business! When the police officers came to the restaurant, they learned that three people had been in the staff area during the accident. The first cook was cutting onions when the chef was hurt. He told the police his vision had been blurred because of the tears, and he hadn't seen anything. The second cook was peeling shrimps when the accident happened. He said he had been listening to music through his earphones, and he hadn't heard anything. The third person, a waitress, claimed she had been serving lemonade outside. Who's lying? The second cook attacked the chef. Come on, shrimps in a vegan restaurant? Really? King's Air 
an old king has passed away. Two men, the true heir and an imposter, claim to be his long-lost son. Both fit the description. In their 30s, tall, blonde, and with facial features similar to those of the late king. One of the ministers suggests a blood test to identify the true heir. One man immediately agrees, while the other flatly refuses. Surprisingly, the one who has agreed is arrested, while the other man is correctly accepted as the rightful heir. Why? The minister knew the true prince was a hemophiliac. It means his blood doesn't clot properly. That's why a blood test would be fatal for him. 